Hi all. Unboxing again. Three packages came. Well, actually four, but the one package I can't count because it's just toner cartridges for my printer. Uh, I'm actually, I think it's ridiculous what they charge. I found a, a generic brand which gave me all four toner cartridges for $27, which I hope they're good because it was only 50 but then they had a 50% off coupon I used. Uh, we'll see how they do because Brother wants, the company Brother they want $100 per cartridge, and there's four cartridges. So it's like, I'm like, wow. Okay, let me see. I guess I'll cut it right here. Okay. I'm going to kill the cats. Okay, as you know... I bought, <laughs> sends me an Empire Strikes Back card, dog-eared, ain't worried about it, I bought a gray X-Wing, and it was missing the, this, and the R2 was broken, so I bought the replacement part for that, and the sad thing is, for how much they wanted for a seat, I was just better off buying the whole assembly from this bottom, the whole bottom assembly. It works, it's set up. So, all I need now, I fixed the wings. All I need now is the four guns and the canopy, which the canopies they want an arm and a leg for. Because I still need to build an other gray one. So, I'll have the white one, the gray one. And the battle damaged one. Thank God I have the landing. I'll open this up. Gotta make sure I don't. Because there should be a shirt in here, I think. I don't. I can't buy so much. Cr oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot. Oh, oh, God. Well, this was a hat. See what else is going on. I basically got to stay the hell away from Kimo. But I don't. Uh, we went to a farmer's market yesterday, me and the wife. And uh, it was funny. Because the kids wanted stuff for their crops. And the, the, far, at the farmer's market... The, the crock things where you get six of them for five bucks and I said to my wife I said I can get 20 of them on Timu for less than four dollars but I got a mighty mouse pin of course my wife didn't believe me so when we went home I went and I logged down with my phones I didn't want to show her there in front of the people because yeah, you're helping out small businesses. Said, yeah, you're helping them out by freaking, like, making them bloody rich. I said, I can see if they, they did, you know, you know, if they bought them for, like, okay, you get 20 for $4. Say if they, if they sold 10 of them for 4 they double their money. I mean, they're actually tripling, quadrupling. Rush button. I bought these for the three quarter inch figures, stands for them. Oh wow, these are really small. I thought they were bigger. Uh, you never, I didn't see the size listed on these. That's one of the reasons why I bought them. little easel things. I 
I don't think they're good enough to put a comic book on. I guess maybe a, a small card or something. I don't know. That was a waste of a couple bucks. Then I got a... Well, I don't like how it's... It didn't show a glossy on the thing. Yoda pin. I got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on a pizza. I don't know what it is why my nose always gets itchy. A Jawa. I actually thought that long box that had the stuff for the star, uh, the X-Wing, I thought that was actually a 12-inch figure I ordered. Spider Gwen. It's funny. Uh, when I bought the one pin a while ago, my daughter, oh, she wanted it. She likes Spongebob. So what I did was I got her, I bought a set of two, so I got her the one she wanted, and I got myself the blue one to finish the set. Okay, that does it for this junk. Now, this box. Yesterday, I did get something. I didn't do an unboxing for it. I got a straight leg Mego pocket figure of Batman. He had the color of his face was rubbed off. He was missing color on his. He had no bat symbol. In fact, let me see if I can get him. Last night, I pulled out the acrylic markers, the acrylic paint pens, and I still got to get the, 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 the miscellaneous stuff off of his hands and feet. I got to try to mess match the paint for the rub down. I got to probably give the, the face part another coat, but Batman. So now for straight legs... I need Green Goblin, Captain America, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Superman. I don't know if they made a Shazam. So, I did win. It'll be coming in the mail. I did win a Bent Leg Hulk. So, that's a good thing. Now, just back to this box. Right in this one. Yeah. I've been working hard trying to finish off the series I got. So And it's rough because I try to order from the same multiples from the same company, so I save on shipping. What do I do with it? Now I put it back. Not as sharp as it used to be.
Okay, let's start with this since I got this off. I have to replace the bag as usual. I got Aster trade paperback. I got the Prelude to Infinite Crisis trade paperback, and after I ordered it, I found a copy of it. I had it. House of Mystery number one. Second printing. It's called the Double Shot. So I finished off my volume two of House of Mystery. Uh, the Intimates. What number is this? It's weird because the numbers on every. It's always different on all these freaking books. No, I can't find a number on the cover. Okay. Mortality 101. But I got this issue. Uh, let me see if I'm putting these over here. And I'll try to keep series with series. Well, here's another. The Intimates. Okay. Issue 11. Oh, this was issue 1. goes with that I got Hunter's Moon number five oh the intimates number 12 new invaders issue zero cap wants you aster number three Aster number 3A. I wonder if I can get the sticker off the cover of it. Why would you do that? Yeah, I got it off. But there's Aster. Okay, let me just take care of these. Now, I started with looking, trying to find Infinite Crisis. The issues I needed for Infinite. I ended up getting number one, the Dollar Comics issue. And then I ended up getting number four, the Sketch Variant. Then, since I was like, uh, I typed in, in the day had crisis. They kept showing me this stuff. So I ended up getting Identity Crisis. I don't know what printing this is, but it's the all red cover. Number one. And then I ended up getting this number one variant. And then this number two. Because I have like Infinite Crisis and Identity. I have the whole base. I just need just, in, you know, variants. And they were all pretty darn cheap. So I was like, yay. I finished Aster. I finished... I finished Aster. Uh, Hunter's Moon, I think I still need one book for. Um, I'd have to see. And I finished House of Mystery. So, two more series down. I actually have to go upstairs and start, like, shooting the videos for them. And then putting them, you know, I've been putting the books away as I get them. So, they still need uh, uh, tons of dividers. Because I have all these other series that got to be added. I don't know why I, I do that. I should just focus on the stuff I already have. Even though I find older stuff cheap. Um... Uh, then I'm stuck trying to track down the rest of the stuff. And there's some series I'll never finish. Like, I'll never finish Action, Com action Comics. Superman, Batman, Detective, Wonder Woman. You know, all those books. First off, because they go back to the 40s, 30s, 40s. 
I'm not rich. If I was a multi-billionaire, I'd be like, yeah, I can probably do it. I could probably, I'd be doing it, in, uh, probably have it done within three years if I was a billionaire. My goal, I'm still trying so hard, is to like, collectible museum. Cards, comics, toys. And just like display the stuff. Kids get in free. That's what I that's what I want. So bad. I want something to outlast me that will just keep growing. It'd be like in the Justice League animated cartoon. Those uh the the AI life that, that comes down and keeps eating stuff and keeps growing, growing, growing. I want my that's what I would love to have to do. It's like you know, they have the Cooperstown and I'm I'm gonna say this if people won't Pete Rose should be in the baseball hall of fame. Uh, I still think Shoeless George Action should be in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Not just him. Because he fought it for years saying, you know, he knew that they were throwing. But if you look at his stats, his stats, you know, he played the best on the best series. Now, he wasn't a rat. You know, he still had his, you know, he was still, you know, as far as concerned, teamwork. You know, you didn't want to be. Uh, and to hold him accountable even after he's dead is wrong. The sad thing is, that, you know, Pete Rose is not in the baseball health, but you go up to the baseball health, and like I did, he's everywhere. I mean, his jersey's there, pictures of him are there. Just freaking enshrine them, you know. I watched a video on, uh, I forgot what channel it was, it was, you know, something hustle or whatever. And it was a four-issue, uh, four-part series. And he kept saying, oh, he wasn't, he never worked out at Gold's Gym. And they had pictures of him in Gold's Gym working out. So I don't, you know, doesn't, I don't think he actually realizes half the stuff he says. And if he's lying or not. Um, he also said that his grandparent had a, a, a monkey and they could, his name was Pete the Monkey. So, well, f I don't know if that's true. You know, people say, you know, that it's hard to believe him. Uh, all men are fallible. Every person's human. The stats he put up for what he did should be recognized. It bothers me that they'll recognize other people, you know, people who did drugs constantly, and then they're there. You know, and they're still allowed to play baseball after breaking, the, breaking that rule dozens of times. You know, that's why they have Gamblers Anonymous. Just same thing as Alcoholics Anonymous. You know, drug, drug, you know, drug users Anonymous. All that stuff. You know, uh, I do f feel sorry for him. Even though they say he's not supposed to do it. He, he shows, he, he does a lot of stuff. I won't pay what he wants for an autograph. Because I think, you know... As a fan, I think a lot of the people should a fan should have to beg or pay for. Not, there's too many people out there. This is what this is what killed. This is what killed uh, the hobby and did a lot of uh, damage. There's always some people out there that take advantage of other people. Uh, there was a story that I forgot somebody said that they were at a convention and a guy had a dolly. With boxes of comic books on, it. and he went to see the one guy, and uh, the guy, the guy who was the artist that was there, thought, "Oh, this guy's a you know fan of mine," so he, he was like, and he was at this time he was doing books for free, comic, and you know, the guy had him sign hundreds and hundreds of books, and then he tells him that he's putting them up on eBay for sale. That to me. That kind of person's appalling. And I know people like that because you see them all the time on eBay. You see them all the time in the world. I mean, you go to, you go to flea markets and that. You'll see people trying. I, I was at a flea market yesterday and uh, a girl had the Elvis set that I have. And she didn't have none of the inserts. She had the binder. And I just wanted to know how much she wanted. And she wanted over 100 bucks for it. And I'm like... Uh, Oh, no, because the, the sets the sets are like the binder though is worth something, but it's not worth you know not more than fifty bucks. 
She had none of the insert cards, which they did the insert cards for like every one of his so many hits. And I have quite a few. In fact, I think I'm only like five or six short for the whole the whole set. Uh, then she pulls out the Star Wars vault book. And she had on a, it had a big bang in the one corner. It was dented in. And she's telling me they go for a hundred and some dollars on eBay. And I like... Anytime people tell me that the price is on eBay, try to use eBay to sell me stuff, guess what I do? I get on my phone and I go on eBay. I go on eBay, I can pick up the same book for $30. That's what's shipping. And I was looking through... She had boxes, short boxes of comics. I swear to God, every one of them was double what you would normally pay for. So I was like, uh, no. And that was the only person I saw that had books. I actually went to the... Uh, I was looking for Atari game. I, I go there, I look for stuff. But this place had nothing. I mean, nothing. I I ended up coming back home with an apple pie. Uh, some razzles. So I don't see them that often. So my wife bought a couple of things. Uh, cherry gummy bears, orange gummy bears... <laughs> Orange slices and cherry slices. That's pretty much what I came back with. Then we went and we stopped at an Italian restaurant in uh, Tamaqua. Uh, and I ordered a chicken, uh, chicken parmesan meal. Before that, we had a sampler. And by the time I had shared a sampler and I had my salad, I really wasn't in the mood for anything else. So I brought my chicken parm on the way home we stopped at my daughter's house and she's her and her boyfriend were both working it's like one o'clock so we took luna out her dog and uh i played with luna luna's very very hyper that dog jumped all over the all over me knocked me down stepped on my foot but we we, we took her i was we were there about an hour then we came home um i didn't get nothing but then uh I did my last sale on books, and I didn't even sell a quarter of them from the last sale. And this was all the stuff that was better books. I thought for sure a lot of the Silver Age stuff would go with how cheap it was. Not really. Uh, I still got my Justice League of America number 15. I still have all those other books. And the sad thing is, I put them on what I paid for them. I put $5 start on Justice League of America number 15. It's like, the sad thing is a guy, I put $2 on my Dell Tarzan book. It was the only book the guy bought. Now, I had minimum $10 shipping, right? I feel bad for the guy that he's going to pay $12 for that book after shipping. I even, I'm going to send the guy a message later. So go through my old stuff. See if there's any 50 cent quarter books that you want, you know, at least make make it worth something, you know. Even if you fit twelve or thirteen books, like I have it up to ten, but as long as I can fit it in, you know, in a Gemini mailer, fine. Because I have like I have here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packages that people paid for me, for me already. That now I have to stick in the black printer cartridge and start printing out labels and packing these up good so they. No damage on the on the shipping. So I got a lot of work to do today. And also I got to take these upstairs. So, But from all my sales, I managed to free up three long boxes of books. I still have almost ten long boxes of books. In fact, where this camera is sitting, my phone sitting, is two short boxes. And it's actually leaning up against stack books going up. So I probably have three short boxes there. Because I'm trying to... Well, the best way to do it is I'm running out of room in the attic. And eventually, it's... You know, that's why I'm trying to like finish off a lot of stuff I have. And not trying to buy... Like, I... Dan always has sales, and there's a lot of, like, a lot of newer stuff. And I'm like, uh, no. It's like I want to hit... Bid it, you know, at a quarter and start it, but I'm like, no. I'll do it if it's Green Lantern, Justice League, because they're like my always have been my two favorites, even though I don't like how they're going now, especially now. I made a rant a couple, uh, a couple 
few videos ago about the rainbow of colors. And then it was funny. The next day, I my rant ends up being... Uh, there's an article on Screen Rant that there's going to be a gray lantern. I'm, in, I'm like... I swear to God. And this whole thing on emotions, a bunch of... You know, even my buddy Al says, you know... They have green as willpower. Well, as far as you know, it used to be green, it used to be envy. You know, red rage, pink passion, you know, yellow friendship. Now, yellow is fear. You know, it would have been better if they just did the total new universe and say, listen, they're harnessing the, the, the power of light. And they're going through the spectrum. Everything still runs on willpower, but here's the problem with the light thing. I would actually go with black. It, it has its its weakness is the color white, and go through the spectrum, and do how they do the the hockey standings. The best team faces the worst team, so go from like one arm of the spectrum to the other, and go boom, 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 boom. And there, that's your your weakness. This whole crap about emotions, that's it. It's garbage. Because no matter what you look at, the ring runs on willpower. And all it is is to beat it down and sell stuff. I would have had more respect to them if they did that. And then when they, they pulled that out, I, I, I actually told my friend, I was on the phone with my buddy Al, I said, Al, guess what? You know my buddy Green Lantern? He goes, yeah. He goes, what? He goes, what's going on with him now? I said, uh, well, they're doing a couple things with them. Uh, they're, supposed to, they're supposed to make him terrified of something. And I go, that's a bunch of crap. He's, Al Lanterns are supposed to be, you know, devoid of fear. Now, that's the one. And then I had, then I told him, about, and he was like, get out of here. And he started going off. He goes, that's just goddamn pathetic. Now, he doesn't collect comic books. He doesn't own a single comic book. He watches the cart. He watches the, the animated shows and that. And then he'll come and ask me, you know, you know, what was this series like? Uh, what was this like? What was, and sometimes, you know, I know he read a couple at my house over the years. And he's like, yeah, he sees the hypocrisy. Uh, but we, uh, I told him about that, and he was just like, and I'm like, what are you going to do? I said, just like, you know, the superpowers. I'm like, I ended up getting Series 1 figures. Never got, you know, I did get the Invisible Jet and the Batmobile because they were on clearance at Walmart, but I never got the four figures for from McFarland, you know, they were always sold out. And then, you, but the sad thing is, you go on Facebook, and then there are prominently. And then you click on them, you go to, and then you click on them, and it takes you to McFarland, and they're sold out. Why keep picturing the same if you can't get them? Because I didn't get those four figures. Then they had the Wave Three with the Whirly Bat, the Three uh, Peacemaker, the the Three Judo Master, and I forgot what the third one was. There's that. Then they had the other one with the Bug, Brainiac ship. And those figures, and like I said, then, then of course, McFarlane. Oh, we're just going to take the same Batman mold and rainbow it. Same thing with the Flash. Oh, we'll have the gold Flash. You know, I I just get, you know, I'm like, uh, right off the bat, I'm like, no. I picked up the Batmobile and the Invisible Jet because they were on clearance. I probably... I would like to get the Blue Beetle and the Bug, but I don't think I will. Uh, I'm not feeding him any more of my money. I'm just I'm just disgusted with it, because the sad thing is, in the long run, I want you to look at look look at all the McFar look at all those Spawn toys, right? All his, the the Marvel Legends and all this stuff. It's like you go on eBay years later and get them for less than what they were selling for it's like uh i'm just tired of it got to get people out of this you know oh got to have you know it's just 
people buying, constantly buying, and then you have the people that all. Oh, I've been doing it for 15 years. Go, there's no reason why I should I should be able to buy a new 52 issue for a book. There should be no reason for that. But it does. It's always it's out. It's always happening because the, first of all, the mentality of people nowadays got to get it. Got to get it. Got to get it. It's like I got to keep up with the Joneses. That's why you're paying for all this. And there's a lot of us that are like me. They're like you know I don't you know, screw it. I'm, I'm patient. Then you get told that you're a cheapskate. Well, let's see. I don't make seventy to hundred thousand dollars a year. I don't even make twenty. Hell, disability. I make twelve grand. So, eh. I buy for what I have. My poor wife works. And my poor wife is starting to like burn herself out. You know, she had her, in the last year, she had rotator cuff surgery, hysterectomy, throat surgery. And she's got to get the throat done again. Now, I look at all that stuff. Eventually, I, My dad's right. Eventually, I do have to do something. Quit collecting a couple, you know. And if I have to, I'll just... I think I have enough stuff, you know what? If I do, I'll just work on some of the stuff I don't. I'm almost done with glasses. Like I said, I need a I need a whopping seven glasses, and I finish what the what the hell I got displayed. I mean, there's nothing really out there that comes out that I really want when it comes to glasses, pictures, whatever. Uh, I do got to get the, the front of the bar finished. I'll put plexiglass in because before you know, it, these cats are terrible. In fact, uh. I'm getting rid of three of the kittens. I'm going to put them up on Facebook. They have to go to a good home. Uh, I have six cats in the house. I don't want six cats in the house. Uh, at one point, I had eight. My daughter took two of them. Still, six is too much. Magic number is three. I have three dogs, three cats. I want. That's what I want, three cats. I have three ferrets, one rabbit. I mean, I can't keep up with the two kids, the 70 some year old kid I have that doesn't do nothing, just sits on the thing and makes a mess for me to clean up after herself every time. Uh, my daughter moved out, but I had my stepdaughter that, that was supposed to help herself out by living here, and she I haven't seen her in the last two weeks. I saw her once. She's basically not here. And I hope to God she's not back on drugs because that'll just be another major problem that my poor wife's got to deal with. I won't deal with it because she, it gets up to where I have the state police coming to my house if I, and I, as soon as I start talking to her about it. So it's rough when you have that. And that's another thing too. I'm constantly checking my inventory if their books are missing because I went through this with my brother. And there's a place in place in Bloomsburg where the guy tells the people to go steal the gold off their parents. I mean, I bought one Atari cartridge off the guy, and I wasn't going to buy it. He started writing up the slip. If I had to do it all over again, I would have never bought it. But I was like, you know what? I got pressured into it. It's still, it was the same price I would have bought it on eBay. And I don't like any place that doesn't have prices. And then the guy takes it in the back and looks it up on the computer. To me, that's... <clears throat> so... But that's it for this edition. Uh, and as always, I thank you guys for viewing and subscribing.